I don't, I don't know. Um, we've got the grid, though. Go it's on. the two Kilo Motorsport uh, drivers on the Hang front on. row of the grid. Is it Castle Tomaneski in pole? No. <gasps> is no. it the other one, uh, Popperquill? It Pop- is. Marcel Popperquill mm-hmm. on the pole position, as expected. Marcel Popperquill, Kasper Tomaneski share row one. Shares there as well. Shares, like a turn back time. Shares row. <laughs> <laughs> nearly the end of the season. I'd put out the gas so that was funny. <laughs> yeah, really. Second row of the grid, James Kelly and Emily Cooper. I've just had a thought about something, right? Oh, please, I'm doing the grid. <laughs> no, but do you think at the end of the whole day we should have Gaz saying it's a wrap? Uh, <laughs> there's only you and Gaz and me get that. Not even Paul Can gets Can I make that. a point about this? Who is this for? <laughs> <laughs> it's for our fan base out there. In exactly. Who TV is it for? Life. The three of us. That's our fan base. Right, do you want me to do this grid? No, I'll do it. This is... No, you're not <laughs> doing it. All right, you're doing it. Right, this is the most important part of the mm-hmm. whole championship, mm-hmm. right? This is the most important part of the championship, and you're messing it up, quite frankly. This is the I'm junior sorry. rota. I'm sorry, but when you said that, you're messing up. We sound like every bad end of the peer double act. <laughs> oh, you're messing it up. Yeah? You're the straight man. I'm the annoying comic like Bobby That's Ball. Right. Look, Nick, just don't speak. You'll only spoil it. Right? <laughs> okay. Right. I'm turning off my microphone. Right. Turn it off. Do what you want to do. Right. Junior Rotax final have been released from the collecting area. It's Marcel Popperkull and Kasper Tomalewski on the front row of the grid. Second row of the grid is James Kell and Emily Cooper. Emily who you will uh, hopefully see after this when we have a rerun of our paddock show. Uh, third row of the grid is Andrew Dixon, who you'll also see in the paddock show with Oliver Fabricius, uh, Fabricius on the, uh, on the uh, sixth place beside him. Riley Morgan and Lewis Summer, Sumner sorry, are on row four. Lewis Holton and Kelly are on row five. Harry Hurst Grover and Gregor Reid are on row six. Aidan McDonald and Callum Gosh are on row seven. Row eight is Charlie Vary and Braith Murdoch. Max Hollor and Joshua Jarvis are on row nine. Row ten is Molly Pugh and Elliot Foster. And then we've got Aston Brown, Aston Brown and Archie Doherty rounding off the 22-cart field. Nick, you've got the championship uh, positions going into this final race of the season. How's it looking? The only people who can win are Casper Tomaleski and James Kell. Where is James Kell in the... Cri- in the James Kell is third. Third. And... Um, James Kelly is 35 points behind, which would require Casper not to finish. Okay. Um, to lose that many points. Uh, Charlie Vary, currently in third, is a long way behind Casper Vail. More points than, than that. There's a big gap, one, two, three. There's no real close battles in the top five. Charlie's down the order after that, uh, that horrible result he had in the super final this morning. He's starting this race 15th. So, we are about to go ahead with our f- last race of the season, last race, last race of the 2024 Car Championship. We will get this thing underway when they come back around. Dan Ashton, Dan Ashton at the uh, helm there, ready to press the button and let them race. It will have to be to his liking, though. No early acceleration and no, no deviating from the tram lines. Stay in your position. Yeah. Stay in your lane, literally. Here we go, then. We're out of the final turn. It's a nice pace. I think Dan's going to like that, you know. He doesn't. No, he doesn't. <laughs> he does not. I do not like I that. I think there was a bit of deviating from the I do not like green eggs and ham. Yeah. A little bit of deviation. It's not what he liked. I think the pace was a bit quick as well. Okay. Do you think so? I don't think it's that bad, but they've uh, they've gone out of it. Marcel Papakou has reached really a massive pace up to the first couple of corners. Well, he's wanted to keep heat into his tyres. Get some massive heat by cornering hard. And then, oh, really caught out our Marshall there. Yeah, he forgot to the slow down bit. Now, somebody needs to really slow them down. They, they, yeah, he's got, now he's, he's got to wait for everyone. He's got way too far ahead. Now he's got to wait for everyone. That can be very tricky, keeping yeah, the road Yeah, it's also a massive concertina over. next to them. Yeah, so the two, two mate, Kato Motorsport teammates will like come towards one. us. Are going to take this one? Oh, it's fast. And they're taking it. And we are racing indeed. The two orange and white Kato carts go into the chicane. They're not coming it's out a, first. It's an orange and white and a black and white X cart that comes out. And look at that. This, uh, everybody comes out at once there. Yeah. What on earth was going on there? Cracking action down the midfield. 
that split the pack in two, Nick. Yeah, I mean, it was a, a really aggy move in there. And I think it's their last chance to try and uh, get through. But the second place, so is it, is it, is it Kel, Kel in second? Yeah, so Kel's ahead of uh, Tomaleski. So that's the man who could win the championship. He has to be 17 places ahead of him. Yeah, but Tomaleski well, just has to sit on James uh, Kell's tail. He needs to be... And he will, t- he will take consecutive champions. Places, Remember, yeah. the 2023 Junior Road Axe champion is Kasper Tomalevsky. Okay. So just like Ryan White has done in Honda Oh, Cadet, there we go. Oh, not Thinking quite about enough. It. So just like Ryan White has done in Honda Cadet, we're about to see Kasper Tomalevsky do the same in Junior Road Axe, choosing Coming not to carry the, the number one. Tomaleski down the inside. And what caused that then? Was that James Kell just not being able to get the car to the a, apex? Kell, Kell made a move on to Popper Kell coming through the chicane. Didn't quite work out. I don't think he got the exit he wanted. And that and you can tell he's, he's lost a bit of momentum because he's now got everyone else behind him as well. His teammate Andrew Dixon's behind him and then behind him is Emily Cooper. So Emily Cooper now in fifth with all her sponsors. But it's, so it's uh, <laughs> a couple of ex-carts third and fourth and uh, a couple of uh, KLM Motorsport cars leading. Yeah, Emily Cooper with Kato Motorsport as well, remember. But not with the sticker kit. But not with the sticker <laughs> kit because she's got too many sponsors on it. Here we go then. They stay together, don't they? The first five carts, is it all together? Six carts. First six, Popper Cool, Tomaleski, James Kell, Andrew Dixon, Emily Cooper and Oliver Fabricius. Into and out of the second chicane, heading down towards the elbow. Popper Cole controlling the pace at the front, but you just know that Tomaleski um, has same. got his sights on finishing this championship in style with a win. Popper Cole wants to do the same, though. Fabricius just got past Cooper for fifth, going into Ashton's. Popper Cole actually hasn't won a final this year. Tomaleski has had a second, a first, a seventh, and a second across the year. James Kell. The winner at Warden Law, remember, came ninth at Rowra at a second place podium finish at Glanny Gore. So these are all front running junior Rotax drivers. Yeah. Junior Rotax, probably the uh, most popular, but since that, about the most popular category in the country, I'd say. Oh, yeah. You seem very to get much. a really, yeah. big, really big grid everywhere you go with these. Yeah, massive. It's a high speed game of chess, Nick. It absolutely is. Look at this. Everybody playing a waiting game, seeing that clock tick. Seeing the clock tick down every time you go underneath that gantry there. Nobody making a move. Everybody just letting the race come to them. Because you don't want to go too early. I think you mentioned this earlier, don't you? Didn't you? If you, if you make the move too early, then you're going to have the drivers with the, behind you with a chance of coming back at you. Just snapping. So you need yeah. to time it. You need to time it almost to perfection. I say that's a definition of a trainer six. They are as close as they can be. Every now and again, dip into the track, a couple of cart lengths open up, but no more. And they're just having a oof. Now, that wasn't great because Dixon had to think about going past Kell, and then didn't make it and dropped back a huge amount, which is why there's now a gap between third and fourth. Kell's right on the tail now of Tomaleski to the point where I think that, you know, he might begin to think, hang on a second, I think Tomaleski's slowing me down. But KMS carts. Oh, that would be a bit teamwork, wouldn't it? Slow the slow the carts down, allow Popical to get away. But that's not happening at all because oh, Tomaleski wants this win. There's a bit of a shovel there, and it was not quite sure whether Fabricius and Dixon came together or was kind of might that have was come Cooper. together. Oh, Cooper, sorry, it might have come together or not. But there was kind of a look over from Fabricius saying, "What are you doing there?" It doesn't necessarily mean she, doesn't necessarily mean she shouldn't have been there. But it's like, why are you there? Mm. First four beginning to break away, and that's because Emily Cooper down the inside of Fabricius again, and they're side by side behind these four going into the arena. But Emily Cooper's made it stick for fifth place there. She will then join, rejoin the front four. We are 20 seconds away from the half distance mark. The last five minutes of the 2024 car championship season gets underway in a moment, pointing at helmets. <laughs> Help me catch them is what James Kell's saying. The two Cato Motorsport teammates have pulled a gap, though. Biggest gap we've seen all race. Yeah, Cooper and Fabric Paris are just dropping off the back of the top four. It's two pairs of teammates. Just sort of starting to gap, Cooper, but she might be able to get back at them. But, in fact, she has. Almost as I was saying that, she's just crawling onto the back of those uh, other four cars. There's no real <coughs> impetus from either teammate to overtake the other teammate, is there? No, they're not really no. looking high-speed game there. of Chesney. Okay, 
Still four and a half minutes remaining, though. Just wait till the two-minute board. Just wait till the two-minute bell. Is there actually a bell? No, the it's not a bell. No. Bum, 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 bum. no, no, no. Just in my head. It's like you just see the attitude change. And you'll see the attitude from the, the, the two x card drivers as well in third and fourth. I think it's because they, they, they all know they can't make it. Even they got ahead, they couldn't make a break. That's right. They can't make a break, so you're leaving yourself vulnerable. I mean, it's been a great team battle mm. in this junior road axe class all season. We've had the Cato Motorsport team battling at the front of the field with the x card team. And it's been, they've shared, they've shared the spoils. Mm. Watch them really, there's... there's is Tom Oleski faster than Popacorn, or is he just not... Is it, is not it, today, isn't Well, I'm just talking about this particular race, because he's, he's getting... He's having no issue being that close. But being that close, of course, he's aided by a slipstream on every straight. You know, you gain a, a couple of miles an hour every single straight. Oh, think about it, didn't happen. Kel went I in. I think that's just a variation on line oh, into the hook. Well, you, you know. say that, but that's caused a consternation, and Cooper's got herself up into four. It has, yeah. So she's managed to get past uh, Dixon. Dixon. However, she is also... Um, uh, Oh, she's KMS, isn't she? So she's a, there's yeah. now three KMS in the top four. Yeah. Andrew Dixon is uh, who she was chatting to yesterday afternoon when we, we met up with them. Yeah. So. Because Emily's had a kind of a growing season. She's, she hasn't really featured at the front of it. She's done all the rounds. And she's kind of like a... She got 70, so she finished about 15th in the first final, about 17th in the second final, about 16, 17th in the third final. And then uh, a couple of weeks ago, she was about... Remember where we are, though. Yeah, it's a home track, but she, was, she, she got up to about 6th or 7th, so it's kind of a progression through. And this is obviously the track she knows well, being a Lincolnshire lass. Remember, former for, full bet cart club I think junior champion, she's raining, or she? reigning champion, champion yeah. yeah, MSUK champion. Only female MSUK champion. But, um, yeah, so having a bit of track knowledge... Oh, there's the move down out. inside of Tomaleski has gone James oh, Kell. And Tomaleski Tom gets it all oh, wrong. Oh, dear, oh, dear. He, was, he ran out of road there as James Kell went down his inside. I'm not sure if there was any contact whatsoever there, but Tomaleski found himself running out of curb, ending up on the grass where there is just no grip whatsoever. That has completely changed the order now. Into and out of the first chicane. Popper Cole, James Kell, Cooper now up to third. Tomalevsky in fourth, Oliver Fabricius fifth, Andrew Dixon, Harry Hurst, Grover, Brith, Murdoch, Lewis Holton, Riley Morgan. Into the second chicane then. The ex-cart driver, James Kell, wants the victory. We're inside the two minutes. The, uh, the action began as Emily Cooper down the inside of the ex-cart driver, James Kell. And Emily Cooper, the full bet cart club champion, gets into second place and charges off. After the leader, Marcel Popacool, who's pulled a bit of a gap because they've been squabbling behind. They're still squabbling behind. Into the first chicane then. Out of there, Popacool looks over his shoulder. The colour of the cart behind him has completely changed. It's blue and white now, mate. And you and, and get to get even closer before you can read all the sponsors. <laughs> so Cooper, coming through, losing her local knowledge. But she's got to try and catch up to Popacool. They... Error by Cam Tom Oleski, or being eased out by Tom Oleski, causing a problem. We are almost a minute away from the final checkered flag of the season. And it's Marcel Popacool who will race into that final minute. We have got two more laps after this one, Nick. So plenty of time for action to ensue. Yeah, he's got half a second. How long that will last, I don't know. I'm pretty sure James Kell's not finished it either. No, I don't think he is. Tom Olewski will be livid, finishing in that order, though in fourth place. will still net him the championship. Yeah. James Kell may finish ahead of him, but it's not going to be a big enough points haul to pull back that 35-point deficit going into this final. Yeah. Into Ashton's, then. It will be another lap before we see the last lap board, so plenty of time. Plenty of time for James Kell to come back at her, but Emily Cooper looks really strong in that second place. Now, the gap was 0.57. It's 6.6. .6. So, Popacool, solid. Guess who's fastest on the track? Is it Casper Tomaleski? It absolutely is. He's got the red mist. After being finding himself running out of curb and being on the grass, he wasn't happy at all, was he? And he's coming back at James Kell. And Kell's not letting Cooper get away. This is all good news for Marcel Popacool, who may well end the season 
with a victory. He hasn't had even a podium finish so far, so no. he's going to finish it on a win. Oh, up the inside goes Kel now. Cooper looks over his shoulder. Yes, it's not happening, she says. No, no, no that's no, not no. happening. She had, she had momentum by taking the wider line. But we are the heading lead, The lead has disappeared, but I think they only a lap to go. We're starting the last yeah. lap of the car championship. Joe, talk us around. Lap. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. <laughs> last lap then. Last lap of the season, actually. That's what I meant. And Popper Cool now has Emily Cooper right on his bumper, coming out of the hook for the last time. James Kell right on Cooper's bumper. Time is running out, though, for any ta kind of challenge. If it's going to come, it's going to be messy. Tomaleski trying to get back on terms. He doesn't need to change where he is to win the championship. I'm sure that's going to be at the forefront of his mind. We race out of Ashton's towards the arena for the last time. Into the right-hander now, into the next right-hander, out of there and through Beavers. It'll be a chequered flag that awaits these drivers. And the chequered flag flies for the last time this year. And Marcel Popical takes the victory with Emily Cooper, a delighted second. We'll see her on the podium. And James Kell, the ex-cart driver, in third place. A an eventful race. Kasper Tomalewski finishes fourth and becomes the 2024 Kart Championship Junior Rotax champion. Subject to scrutineering. Subject <laughs> to making that official provisionally, let's say. In fifth place was Andrew Dixon. Oliver Fabricius was sixth. Braith Murdoch was seventh. Harry Hurst Grover was eighth. Nigel Lewis Holt and Riley Morgan rounded off the top ten. Well, 